These are the materials that you will be needing for this tutorial. Packing papers, all-in-one ruler, your flexible ruler, engineer or architect's ruler. You need this for PPE because we are going to make a long gown for PPE. Paper scissors, fabric scissors, tape measure with inches and centimeters, and of course, your pencil. So let's start by drawing or marking vertical and horizontal lines, respectively. We are going to locate the front waist length. So on my record, it's 15 inches or that is 37.5 centimeters. Okay. From this point, from this line, this is your front waist length. And on that, you are going to mark, you are going to draw a, a horizontal line. You are going to mark your neckline. Our neckline is actually 19, but I already pre-calculated the front neck width, the front neck height, the front shoulder level. And I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that. So if you drafted your front waist length, we're going to make a horizontal line here, and this is going to be your front neck weave. And my measurements are three four eighths or three point five. And in centimeters, that is eight point seven centimeters. So just don't worry you guys, I am going to share the illustration so that you won't get um, confused with the pattern. Okay, as you guys can see, I am drafting a vertical line again. This vertical line is for the front neck height. On my record, my front neck height is 3 one eighths. I'm just gonna drop that three one eight so that's eight centimeters this is going to be the point for your shoulder length on your front neck weave you are going to mark up one two eights or three point one centimeters this is going to be your FSL, your front shoulder level. Draft your shoulder length, and the measurement that I have is six inches. Take it slow, you guys. You don't have to rush everything. Put it in front of the camera so you guys can see it clearly. Okay? Let's label this shoulder length. I am going to curve it from here to here to make a shape for the neckline. And on this line here on your front waist length, make another mark perpendicular to your front waist length measurement. You are going to mark up 1.2 inches. That's 3.1 centimeters. This is your back waist length because we are going to use this bodice for front and back. Moving on, we are going to go down south. <laughs> we are going to mark your waist so my waist or hip it's 45 inches i'm going to divide it by four and i got 11 to 8 that is 28.1 centimeters and i'm going to mark it up all the way there there you go so this is your waistline you can see that this is your waist so now you can see the bodice 
Okay. So the next step is for your chest lap on your front waist length point. We are going to mark down 3.5 inches. You are going to make another horizontal line. That's good. So this will be your chest line. The next step is the underarm side seam. So USS. So from your waist, we are going to mark up at 9.4 inches from your waist. Okay. And after that, oh, I forgot the chest line measurement here. So your front chest is 15.5 inches or 38.7 centimeters. You are going to divide that by two and you have 7.75 inches. Then you are going to curve it. So what I do here is I just curve it like that. The next thing that we are going to do is we're going to mark down 1.2 inches here or 3.1 centimeters. And we are going to curve it here, make a new curve line here on your chest line to your underarm side seam. Okay. So on this corner, just find just find the most comfortable part where you can curve it. Okay. And that's it. Beautiful. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna get our flex for dirt. And we are going to measure the armhole. We need this measurement for your t-shirt sleeve pattern. We are not going to use the normal sleeves. We are going to use the t-shirt sleeve pattern for this bodice. So I got 11.375 inches. So after we make the bodice for the back and front, we are going to need an extra pattern paper. And of course, if you have a glue or if you have a masking tape, to connect the bodice on this pattern paper. So this is what we're going to do. We're just going to connect it. So now that you have connected this extra pattern paper, from the waistline, you're going to measure 28 inches or more, but I'm using 28 inches. First, that's 70 centimeters. Okay. So this is how it will look like from the waistline until the hemline. So waist to knee or waist to ankle. There you go. Voila. So the next thing is measure this line. 11.25 25 inches or in centimeters that's 28.1 so on this corner you are going to add 1.5 inches or 2 inches so we are going to reshape this to make it an a-line pattern so i guess i'm going to use 2 inches And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to connect this line going up to 
the underside seam. draft of vertical line as usual your horizontal line perpendicular to your vertical line first off we need to mark up our sleeve length mark up 28 inches so this line is your hemline and this line is your armhole curve this is this will determine your armhole mark down three inches draft this horizontal line draw it again this is not your typical sleeve tutorial so now that you have drafted your three inches horizontal line from the top horizontal line you are going to measure here on this angle up to here whichever measurement you get from your arm hole so i told you guys to record your arm hole using your flex ruler and what i got is 11 3 8 inches divide this line into four okay so this is what I got I'm gonna start off at the top one two three okay so don't get confused again so these are only marks but the important thing here is we have all of this one two three four on the first line you are going to mark up two eighths and on the last line I'm sorry I'm just going to extend this little line over here so you guys won't get confused so here you are going to use one eighth so I know this is confusing right now but what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your armhole curve on this side you are going to make a curved line here hitting on the line and on your second curve this is your armhole this is your armhole depth this is the sleeve length it's up to you if you want to divide it into two but for me i guess it's not really important because this is oversized and you're not even going to put darts on it so it's okay oh by the way i forgot to tell you guys that this is on on fold so instead of times two this pattern is times four you're gonna cut it on an unfold fabric. Okay, so moving on. On the wrist, we are going to measure horizontally eight inches. Why eight inches? because we need to gather all of this so we need to gather this with a garter and a measurement of like 6.5 draft a diagonal line here at the armhole going down okay so we're done just gonna zoom it out so we are done right now with your sleeves pattern.
Hi guys, so moving on to your food, we are going to be needing your bodice pattern. So we are going to start it off by tracing this, the front neckline. Okay, so now that you have this, we can start off by extending this line. Also hitting on your shoulder length point on the neck base, we are going to make a horizontal line. There you go. So the height, 16 inches or 40 centimeters, width 11 to 8 or 28 centimeters. Okay, let's move on to the next step. Make a line here. Measure this. And divide it into two. So in this one, I got four, four six eight inches, or twelve centimeters. Four six eight divided by two. Okay, look at the half. What you're gonna do is you are going to mark one eight inches here. You are going to curve it like this. So the first is here, like that. Curve it like this on the second part. So our next is we are going to make a line, a diagonal line here. So later we are going to use this line for the hood. So the next step is we are going to measure the back neck of your pattern. So this is the back neck of your pattern. So there you go. What I got is four one eight inches. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to measure it here. Can you guys see that? This is 418. So on this mark, you are going to measure down half centimeter. That's like two eighths. You are gonna curve it all the way there. All the way on the tip of your shoulder. And voila. Okay, the next measurement that we need to do is on this angle. I am going to use 10 centimeters or 4 inches. Or maybe you could extend it like 5 inches. That's 12.6 centimeters. And then you are going to mark in 8 centimeters or 3.5 one inches so on this mark you are going to connect it up there on this corner add two eight inches by the way over here you are going to measure out two eight or one centimeter and 1.5 centimeters 1.5 centimeter down here. Connect this line over there at the corner at the extra 2 eighths or 1 centimeter.
What you're gonna do on this corner is you are going to curve it. There you go. This is the opening for your head. So moving on, we are going to curve all of the lines here, 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 here. So in here, you already have a guideline to curve it from here and here. But this one, we are going to have a computation here. On this corner, I'm just going to switch it up. Switch it up. This is the top side, okay? Don't forget. Find the angle of this. Make a line. Measure 5 centimeters or 7, but I am going to use probably in between like 6 centimeters or that's 2, 3 eighths inches. Okay, going back again. So we are going to curve all of this line. There you go. Moving on to the other side. That's the top and this is the back side. Okay, we are gonna curve it perfectly. And you have your hood pattern. So all you need to do is add sewing allowances. So because I want to make it sure that this pattern is good, I am going to try it first on a muslin and then I'm going to try it on the real fabric. Well, these are the cotton fabrics and I am going to sew this now. First, I'm going to sew the hood. And then I'm gonna sew the shoulder length of front and back and then I'm gonna sew the sleeves and put them on the edging machine but I am going to teach you guys how to do that later okay let's go now to the sewing area and then after that I am going to sew this I'm going to sew the facing, the seams on the facing. Next is I'm going to connect all of the shoulder length from the front and the back. This is it. Make it sure that you pin it to secure it before you sew. So this is the other side and this is the other side. Okay, let's do it. So after sewing the shoulder length on both sides and after sewing the seams here and here over there, you are going to sew it on the edging machine. So I've edged everything, the seams of the hood, you guys can see that, only I did a separate um, stitching or sewing here because I am going to open this later. And on your shoulder area or your shoulder length. So this is 13 inches of garter and I'm gonna locate the half. I'm gonna mark the half. Open your hood and locate the half. So after sewing it, I am going to sew the edge again on the edging machine.
Okay, so right now you are going to attach the garter on the hemline of your sleeves. So the size of the garter is 6.5, but it's okay. You can also use 7. But in this case, because Filipinos have um, small wrists, I'm going to use 6.5. Okay guys, so after you finish the hem and the garter on the wrist for the wrist, you are going to connect this from here. So remember, you are going to connect this underarm side seam going to your wrist section. Okay, let's do it now. This is not the real fabric that I'm going to use for the PPE. This is just a mock-up just to make it sure that the measurements are correct. It actually looks like a surgeon in this. This is how it looks like. Let's go downstairs. I want to see it on my big mirror. And here I am. And that's me. This is how it looks like. So, medyo mahaba siya. And I'm really happy because here it's really close. So, ayan siya. Sa likod. It's really good actually. Tapos, nara pa siyang pa vent dito. So, sa akin, above the knee siya. I'm 5'7. And, siguro fit na fit to sa size, size 8 because I'm size 8. And yan, ganyan siya. My gosh. It really looks like um a professional PPE gown. I cannot do this anymore. I need to remove this. It's really hot. Anyways, I'm going to share a lot of video tutorials here on YouTube and please if you guys like this video, give it a huge thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, hit that bell button. Thank you guys so much for watching all of my videos and for supporting and for all of the comments. If you have any concerns, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. And by the way, the fashion illustration or the fashion illustration for the pattern making for this video tutorial, I will send it to you. Just ask me, okay? Bye-bye. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay safe and always pray to God that this pandemic event will be over. Thank you. Bye-bye.